Hey everyone, this is Jason at Alorium Technology, and one of the areas that Arduino boards are commonly used in is in robotics, in other applications where they're controlling motors or controlling physical motion, and controlling servos is a big part of that, and very popular for doing that. One of the challenges, though, with using an Arduino board for controlling servos is this issue of jitter, or twitching on the servo, and this is something that's a common problem that anybody that's tried to use it is familiar with. I'm not going to go into all the details of why that happens now. It's not really a good place for in this video. We'll actually have a write-up that we'll make available for you on that as part of a white paper coming soon. But what I wanted to show is a visual demonstration of it happening and then how our accelerator board can address that using our servo control accelerator block. So let's take a look at the demo. So what we've got here is a very simple setup that we used at Maker Firm Milwaukee a few weeks ago in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If you take a look, you can see that on the left we've got a SparkFun breadboard. And on the right, we've got our accelerate board. Now, each of these are controlling their own servo. And on top of each servo, we've got a very simple laser pointer mounted to it. Now, what these boards are doing is they're just going through a simple sketch. Every now and then, you'll see the servos move. And what it's doing is panning that servo back and forth just so that there's some motion that it's off doing something. At the same time, the boards are also processing some interrupts that are being generated and having to go off and, and deal with those. And so... What this is doing is this is sort of simulating the common issue that can lead to this jitter when you're trying to use an Arduino board. If it's doing something else besides just controlling the servo, it can lead to this problem. So if you take a look at the difference between the, our board and the red board, you can see that that jitter problem goes away if you're using our board with the accelerator block. Now, it's kind of hard to see uh, here, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at what's happening with the actual dots that are being created by these laser pointers. So we just had them shining back on essentially the this sign that we have here hanging on the wall. And you can kind of see them moving a little bit. What I'm going to go and do is go ahead and I, I turn the lights off in the room so you can actually see the dots. So here we are looking at the laser dots that are on the wall. And on the left-hand side, again, is the red board. And on the right-hand side is our accelerate board. And if you watch, what you can see is the jitter that's taking place. And this is this is at a range of about six or seven feet or so. So that's about the distance that these this board was sitting from the wall when I shot this video. So imagine you're sitting there and you have some kind of a sensor, maybe some kind of camera mounted on this, on this servo, and you're trying to use that to do some kind of detection or some kind of analysis. And if you've got this much jitter at six or seven feet, imagine if you've got a focal point that's far, way farther out in the distance, you can understand why this is problematic. But again, if you look at our board, it's just absolutely rock solid. And that's because the servo control part of this is being run on the hardware, which allows it to you know, maintain its timing to not be in affected by any other interrupts going on because the processing or taking care of the servo, the processor doesn't even have to worry about it. And what's really cool about this is that these two boards are running this exact same sketch with one exception, and that is the library include. So with the red board, it's just including the standard servo.h library. With ours, we're including our accelerator servo.h library. Other than that, everything is the same. So all the other rest of the functions, the remainder of the sketch is exactly the same between these two applications. And so that just makes it really easy to be able to pull it in and use it. So just wanted to give you a quick visual. We've, we've kind of been talking about what our board can do in some of the ways. And this is one that is, is easy to see. And for a lot of people who are using Arduino boards, a very common problem and with a solution that makes it obvious as to why this would be a great path to take if you're looking to use this form factor and want to improve your performance with servo control. So that's really it for this video. If you have any questions about this or anything else, go ahead and shoot us an email. Be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and we'll talk with you soon. Bye.